Let's bring in right now from Beijing, NBC News foreign correspondent Janice Mackey Freyer. Janice, good morning. Any insights to this balloon that interrupted what was going to be a very important diplomatic meeting between Tony Blinken and President Xi? Well, there's no surprise that there is official outrage here in China, uh, but the foreign ministry today was not revealing much more about the balloon uh, to shore up the claim that it's a civilian airship uh, gathering information on the weather. However, a spokesperson did say that that second balloon that was spotted over Latin America is also Chinese, it is also civilian, and it was also blown off course. Uh, now, the statement that was released yesterday by the foreign ministry Street blasted the U.S. Uh, for overreacting, for using force, for shooting down the balloon. And the defense ministry also said that it reserved the right to act further if necessary. So it puts U.S.-China relations in a very awkward spot, considering uh, the Secretary of State is supposed to be here right now, having those first meetings with Chinese officials uh, that were seen as the best possible chance in years to reset relations. Um, that China spies on the U.S. and, and vice Vice versa is certainly no secret between these two sides. I spoke uh, yesterday with Joe Bo. He is a former senior colonel with the PLA, now with a think tank, and we talked about China's options. This has nothing to do with military reconnaissance or surveillance. This is an accident, and we have uh, expressed the regret over this. And if uh, the United States believe in it, and I cannot see any reason why the U.S. government should not believe it, except to make a, you know, a political use of it. So th this should be over. American surveillance and reconnaissance by ships, aircraft, drones are almost uncountable. Yeah, on a year annual basis, and that uh, is intentional, uh, and they do not want to keep it a secret. Whether China's leadership wants to escalate a situation they claim was accidental is unclear. A lot of the commentary here is painting what the U.S. did as a provocation, as an attack, while on social media, the U.S. is being mocked for overreacting. Um, what the concern is, certainly among some of the analysis that I'm reading from the U.S., is that there's the thought a precedent has now been set and that U.S. surveillance operations operations in the region uh, could now be targeted. And certainly anything uh, that happens uh, in the near future that involves the U.S. and Taiwan is certainly going to raise the temperature here. Or if something is discovered in that debris field, considering the proximity of that balloon to those sensitive sites. But several days and, and a downed balloon into this, China still isn't saying who it belongs to or what it was doing there. All they will say is that they are outraged and that they reserve the right for further repercussions. Joe.